Well, my uh, very first impression as a translator came from uh, visiting Sycamore's website after Father Odvar had told us that this program was something the Nordic Bishops Conference had recommended. And when I went to the website, I was delighted to see that Sycamore really was founded on rock solid Catholic teaching, but also has a freshness uh, with which it presents the material, the catechesis, the language, the music, the images, the interviews. Uh, so my immediate reaction to Father Odvar was, this looks exciting and consistent, exclamation mark. Uh, and then when I read the passages on the website from Father Stephen's booklet on the new evangelization, I thought, now this is something else. This is really what we need. Soon after, I received the master's subtitles to be translated into Norwegian and started watching the films and working on the text. And I was completely carried away because they deal with faith in a low key informal, but nevertheless impressive way. They approach people's sacred ground very carefully and with deep respect, allowing the participants to go through a breathtaking and transforming process of discovery, not to say rediscovery of God. Um, so for me, I saw very quickly that Sigmar offers really a comprehensive catechesis program, not only obeying totally to the definitions of the uh, general director of the of catechesis and the magisterium of the church, but it, for, it was formulated in words and concepts that can be understood and shared with anybody in 2021, in our times. And it also has the capacity to transform our lives so that we really live with Jesus Christ in our hearts and bring him out to everybody. And I also found that it offers a most convincing witness of faith, made even more convincing by Father Stephen's own fascinating journey of faith from his family origins, origins through the various stages that let him discover who God is and how God speaks to us until he became an ordained priest. That was fascinating. I loved the language, so simple that everybody can understand it, yet so suggestive, brim brimming with imagery and striking comparisons, like when the four gospels are compared to a time machine, or like in film five, where Jesus is described not like a friend who shares photos of himself via social media and never comes to visit. He is someone who stands in the doorway, steps across the threshold and wraps us in his embrace. This is part of the meaning of the sacrament. Jesus is touching, uh, Jesus Christ touching and transforming our lives today. Or when explaining the resurrection, Father Stephen uses the ancient image from the Eastern churches where Jesus reaches down to the figures of Adam and Eve, takes them by the hand and lifts them out of the tomb. But then Father Stephen adds, like a lifeguard reaching down and lifting someone out of the water. That was a wow moment. This imagery effectively opens up our inner horizons for perceiving God's existence and his active love. And it prompts us to, take, to ask questions and begin to reflect exactly uh, as what the, uh, what the catechism is, is, uh, is uh, supposed to do. So Jesus becomes alive through Sycamore and he becomes accessible for us here and now. And Father Stephen is not afraid of challenging us to make steps of faith, leading us to trust in Jesus and to start praying and I was uh, honest to say that many times watching these films, I was moved to tears and filled with new hope. The stories that are told in the films, Bible accounts, anecdotes from the lives of saints, moments from history and from the author's own life, provide effective links between lived life and faith, presented in a gentle way, often with a touch of humor, even when speaking about matters as serious as the final judgment, where Father Stephen says, we should have a healthy FOMO, a healthy fear of missing out of heaven. 
Uh, so I've really enjoyed the humor in it also, the joy. I also like the questions and their potential for sharing faith. Uh, they are deep and thought provoking, uh, examining matters from many different angles, like how would you respond if you knew someone had given up their life for you? And then Father Stephen links this with this is exactly what Jesus Christ has done for us. Uh, and then there are the lighter questions that allow for an open and non-judgmental dialogue with people of all beliefs. That I, I thought was fine. Uh, here in Norway, we have a very ecumenical approach to all other denominations. So it, it, it is very useful for us. The music is another beautiful, striking element, inviting with these first notes functioning as a summons. Ba, 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 ba. Um, that is a, like a call to something important and exciting, and then changing into a lively rhythm that suggests uh, setting out on a quest uh, with intermittent quiet parts for reflection or simply joy. And then there is the use of art. Um, we are shown paintings full of symbolism, ancient and modern church rooms, sculptures, architecture, and Father Stephen feeds us with lots of references to well-known films and books. But nothing of this is ever ostentatious or pretentious. It just points humbly to God, showing the love and sacrifice of Jesus Christ, or illustrating Our Lady's sorrow at the cross, or explaining the nature and effects of the sacraments. And finally, I think the interviews with people on the street uh, and with uh, other Christian faithful, given extra credibility to the Sycamore program, because these persons, they express their faith with an honesty and a candor that show how God's light and grace is present in people's lives. Um, despite our fragility as human beings. So after a few films, uh, these wonderful, extraordinary, ordinary people feel like good old friends who are sharing deep insights and most enriching ideas with us. And we start looking forward to know what they will answer the next time they appear on the screen. So I will certainly miss them. Uh, and please give them my warm thanks for their sincere contribution. For me, translating the Sycamore films has been a wonderful and impacting experience making me more aware of my identity as a baptized Christian and summoning me to pursue a way of life that is true and consistent with this great gift and the mission it implies. Sikimar has made it clear to me that we can always refresh our understanding of who God is and restart our journey towards him, with him. The films will stay with me for a long, long time. And I am sure we are many who will feel indebted to the great work of Father Stephen, Susan, and all their collaborators uh, that they have done. And finally, as the translator, I want to apologize to all of you for my misprints and mistakes in the Norwegian subtitles, which I'm discovering far too often as they now are displayed on the screen but I know that the core message of the films will touch you all and make you experience how close God wants to be to us. Thank you. <laughs>